Oh man, this <laughs> this one is going to be a mess, and I apologize. Alrighty. Hello everybody. I uh, Steve Wagon back again. And this time I got some more cards. I got some more art for y'all. The first one here. Uh Morior Invictus. War distorts all feeling. To fight with a bleeding heart. Relentless restitude. The Obsidian Sledgehammer fixates on offering empowering revelations. Deception, the unknown determination, rightfulness, rivalry, tragedy, alliance, rejection, bad omen, and happiness. And the other one. Demonophobia. The White Sands curse this card. Whispers from everyone you love. Paint the most horrific worlds. Exploring the fears of your peers will grant you knowledge. The red flame from the candle leads to disgusting discoveries. Yeah, I got these. I sacrificed the uh, Moon Guard card. And what was the other one? The Omni Side card. I, it, it was Omni Side, right? Because the other one. Yeah. It was, it was a real difficult choice between Omni Side and Sinner's Rebirth. But eventually, Omniside lost. But while I was doing all that, we got ourselves a letter. Go check it out. That's not what I wanted. Come on, Fortuna. What do we got? Ooh, a turtle. We haven't seen a turtle yet, have we? Patrice. Fortuna. Not cool, I had to learn. You can't get visitors now from other than you. Not cool, I had to learn you can get visitors now from other than you. Oh, wait, Patrice, our sister. Fortuna, not cool, I had to learn you can get visitors now. You can get visitors. She's an old lady, isn't she? Visitors now uh, from other than you. I don't know if you are aware of the current state of things, but we need to talk. Patrice. All right, come on over. Oh. Chapter 5, An Inquiry into Values. More flashback? Things weren't, things weren't as easy as you have them right now. When I was about the age of little Michael here, I was already working. What did you do, Grandma? I spent most of my childhood helping my mom sew work clothes for the farmers. Maria Fortuna. Okay, that's the person I thought was me, but it's not. I wish I had a job already. I hate school and my allowance is miserable. <laughs> you make more from your allowance than I made sewing clothes. I got paid 30 cents a piece. What? Then why did you even bother doing it? I had to help my mom. She was paid two dollars a piece. But during those times, it was enough for us to get by. Oh, it sounds like such a lovely time. Everything's so expensive now. Why did everything get... Why is everything more expensive now, Grandma? I don't think I'm ready to explain that. Ask your dad about inflation when you get home. <laughs> Did your dad explain it to you? <laughs> I'm afraid not. My dad died in the war back in Spain. He didn't have time to teach me much besides how to use a knife and how to cook a mean paella. paella. I love Grandma's yellow rice. <laughs> you sure do, beautiful. I'll make some paella tomorrow. What do you say? Yes. Yes, yes. Why did you come to America, Yaya? Uh, first of all, this is not America. These are the United States. Uh, okay, uh, of America? Okay, okay. Why did you come to the U.S.? A couple of years after my dad was killed, my mom had to flee to France with me and your Auntie Fortuna to escape from the fascists. Then we moved to the U.S. What are fa- what are fascists? 
<laughs> Very mean people who don't like anyone who thinks differently from them. Or simply is different. Are there any fascists in the US? Too many, I'd say. <laughs> Patrice got some jokes. Oh no. What are we going to do, Grandma? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'll protect you all. Yeah, yeah. Tell us more stories about Aunt Fortuna. You know, this is the perfect place for it. Since it was on this very beach, I saw your aunt for the last time. It was here where she died? I've told you a thousand times, your Aunt Fortuna didn't die. She went to live in the stars. <laughs> sure, Grandma, back to the nursing home you go. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Come on, yeah, yeah. I'm old enough already. <laughs> but it is true. We drove here on a beautiful summer night, just the two of us. And our friend, Eva. Eva. I love Eva. She gives me candy. <laughs> yes, Eva's always been a sweetheart. Fortuna made a delicious pizza. And we opened a nice bottle of... Uh, grape juice. Wine. Yes, wine, Maria Fortuna. I want wine. That night, there was this beautiful meteor shower. So the three of us made a wish. I asked my sisters to be happy. I asked for my sisters to be happy. Unfortunately, they never were. She wasn't happy? She... She had a good life here, but she needed more. Your auntie is magical. She's always had special powers. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I got so I got a I got the feeling of a sneeze and it's just not showing up. And it's happened like three times in the last hour. <laughs> but this world wasn't ready for all she had to give. <laughs> Out of the blue, she said, I want to be a witch. I'm sca I'm scared. Sure, Shabaiko, it's all right. She's a good witch. Then she got up and started walking towards the sea. The stars fell upon her from the sky, but also rose to embrace her from the bottom of the ocean. She walked until she disappeared into the water. She drowned then. No, she went to live in the stars. Don't make me repeat myself, or I'll get the belt. Maria Fortuna? Her body was never found, so she didn't drown. She's in a magical place now, watching over us. Yeah, probably. And that's very creepy. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Why does, she, why does she come to visit us? That... That I don't know, sweetheart. Yeah, I, I kind of, I kind of gave up on them. I was like, dude, I'm a witch. I don't need to see. Oh, Patrice, looking kind of good right now. Hello, Fortuna. Oh no, you're upset. At this point, I'd say I'm more delusioned than upset. When were you planning on telling me you can accept visitors? Uh, things have been complicated. I didn't want to worry you until I figured out this mess. I didn't know I had to report my every movement to you. Oh, things have definitely been complicated. Like, <laughs> I've just been dealing with this, that, so many things. And when you don't sleep, do I sleep? Oh. <gasps> I forgot I sleep. I forgot that's a thing. That's an option. Sleep. I could use some. Things have been complicated. Ah, uh, things have been complicated. This is such a pattern. I don't know why you keep pushing me away when things get complicated. 
What do I need to do for you to let your big sister in? Have I ever failed you? Patrish, come on. I've explained this to you too many times already. You are in. It's just that I don't like to be saved. And you're always too quick to make my own. To make my own problems your own. I got the hiccups. I want you to be my friend. <clears throat> I want you to be my friend, not my mom. Although, not even our mom intruded as much as you do. <laughs> oh, I know. Who do you think changed your diapers and took you to school? <laughs> ah, not this again. Listen, it's been two centuries since I last saw you. Why don't we skip this part and cut to the tense and cordial conversation? Hmm. Fine. Huh. How's work? How's Juliet doing? You still together? Ooh. Are you still checking on your descendants? Is she allowed to do that? I thought she was supposed to, like, keep it hidden, you know? Yeah. Is she? Is she? Uh, how's Juliet doing? You know, two centuries. Anything could have happened. How's Juliet doing? Are you still together? Nah, no. That had to end. We broke up about 50 years ago. What happened? She went and joined the Art of, Bri Art of Bridge office willingly. Can you believe it? Whoa, why did she do that? She was overwhelmed by what being a witch implies. All that freedom, the directionlessness. She depended a lot on me to decide how to use her time. But I'm not the kind to become anyone's conductor. She was fine whenever she was busy. But every time I needed my space, she had severe episodes of anxiety and depression. She knew she was hurting us both. So in the end, her solution was to forego her freedom. From what she's told me in her letters, becoming an Otter Bridge gave her a mission and a purpose. What a shame. Well, whatever works, I guess. Existential dread is a widespread disease among witches. The irony of immortality. He. Hmm. I'm hearing so many noises, man. I'm going crazy. How's work? How's work going for you, hmm? Stupendous, I'd say. While you've been gone, we've managed to become one of the most popular publications among many covens. Ooh, that's right. She was supposed to do, like, some sort of magazine thing? I even started overseeing a side editorial about magical technology, which has been a big hit among witches of the Machina cult. <gasps> there's... There's machine witches? That's cool. That's so cool. Ten modules you won't be able to live without once you've installed them in your back. I know, I know. I'm not proud of those kinds of headlines, but they work wonders. Ha ha, I'm sure. I find them dumb too, but I gotta say, Cosmic Gazette's Top 5 Trinkets of the Week is one of my favorite sections, haha. -ha. I know, we should stop trying to play it smart and embrace our love for random lists. For this year's special, we may even go full bait. Top 10 Best Lists in the Cosmos. I'm looking forward to it. And to think I used to be a best-selling author back on Earth. Hey. Huh. Are you still checking on your descendants, huh? How are they? Nah, I got bored a couple of generations ago. It was important for me to veil over Maria Fortuna, Eric, Michael, and the rest. And I was genuinely curious about how they raised their children. What became of them all? I don't know. 
the ego trip of witnessing one's legacy. But at some point, it lost all meaning. Just became voyeurism. Watching strangers go about their lives. They stopped talking about you, huh? Shut up. <laughs> ah, they forgot about her eventually. Ugh, that's sad. Uh, is that a, uh... Is that a fate disc, Master Thingamabob, in your pocket there? Oh, wow, that's a slow mouse suddenly. Right there. Ooh. There we go. Right, th right there. It's listening to us, Patrish, Patrice. It's listening. Ha ha, ha ha. I know you too well. A prick. Huh. I guess that's enough catching up. What about you? What have you done this time? What are you implying? There's something embarrassing, dangerous, or illegal, I am sure. Um, Abramar, show yourself. And Artabiter revisited my sentence. That's all. Revised my sentence. That's all. I don't... Now listen. I would trust Patrice. Patrice, I really do. What I don't trust is what's in her pocket. Last thing I need is... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't want to say anything. I trust Egreth with the whole behemoth thing because she already, you know, summoned a behemoth herself. But... Patrice, I, 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 I don't know her stance on behemoths, on forbidden magic, all that stuff. So it's better to just, better just play safe at right now. In Arbit, Arbiter, the, revise my sentence, that's all. Bullshit, you can't lie to me. I know something's off because otherwise I wouldn't have had to find out myself that you regained visitation privileges and what's more that you have a brand new tarot it's not tarot even worse what have you done there must be a reason you wanted out wanted me out of your hair i mean she's 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 kind of she's kind of pushing it obviously you know, the good thing would be to, like, you know, be honest, tell the truth. Hey! Stop. But I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. Okay, you're right. Yes, there is something off me wanting you out of my hair. But uh, I can't tell you. It's, 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 a, it's a little too private. Okay, you're right. But I'm not telling you. Tell me. This is chance number three. Probably gonna get pissed. Fine. No. I don't trust the dip. Well, actually, it won't matter. Because the whole behemoth respect thing, that's gonna be changing soon. <gasps> and I'm the one to bring the change. I never realized this. Abramar, show yourself. Fine, show yourself, Abramar. <laughs> Holy fuck, Fortuna. A motherfucking behemoth. Please to meet you, Patrice. <laughs> and it talks. What do you mean, it talks? We behemoths fucking invented the language. And I'm not an it. Please refer to me as he. <laughs> what have you done, Fortuna? I did what I had to do to survive. I'm sorry. I was desperate. I did what I had to do to survive, man. You have any idea what it's been like? 200 years of isolation? People go crazy from like going a few months of isolation. 200 years? It is a miracle that this place isn't scrawled with insanity writings. I did what I had to do to survive. <laughs> survive? This will get you executed. Erased from the cosmos. I was living death anyway. 200 years alone on this rock is worse than oblivion, Patrice. <laughs> ah, who could blame you, really? Fucking a day now. We have to use the elections as an opportunity. 
to save your ass. I can start by calling in some favors. See if we can get you in the running. Patrice, what? You're doing it again. Stop. This is my mess. I can handle it. You can't handle shit. Look at this situation you've gotten yourself into. I, I've been a witch for decades longer than you. I don't need your lessons. You may have been my big sister back on Earth, but not anymore. In fact, you're the little sister now. Know your place. Oh, 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 oh she's hitting you with that one. You be you may be my bigger sister age-wise, but experience. <laughs> I got you beat. What did you just say? You ungrateful piece of shit. You heard me. It's my turn to protect you. Just by colluding with me on this behemoth issue, you could be punished too. I didn't even tell you. I didn't even tell my best friends. That's why I didn't want to get you involved. The fucking nerve. I don't need your help. The sooner you get that into your head, the better. Why did you turn me into a witch then? I did not turn you into a witch. You were destined to become one. How many times do we have to go over this? I just read the cards, or read the cards. Wait. What? Oh my god. I I did turn her into a witch, didn't I, by reading that she would do something more after death? Ugh. Oh my god. Are you alright? I did turn you into a witch. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, Patrice. What are you on about? What? You're sorry now? What is going on? Oh shit. Your bone cancer. Oh god, I did kill her! I didn't predict it! I killed her! I killed her! I made her a witch! Oh my god! I'm just realizing so many things! I am a murderer! Oh shit. Oh my fucking life. Fortuna. Easy. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. I... I recently learned something about my divination that... Well, it changes everything. What is going on? I'm not a reader. I'm a writer. What the hell does that mean? Adena's corpse visited me recently. Sh she told me why she sent me into exile and why she took away my deck. I'm not seeing the future. I'm deciding it. Forging what's ahead. I killed you. Whoa, whoa. Slow down. First of all, we were kids. Oh god. I killed her as a child. Oh god, I'm awful. I'm a sociopath. Or a psychopath. I don't know which one it is. You're not responsible for my fate. No matter the forces behind it. I gave you fucking cancer. Hey, shut it. I had a great life. If not cancer, it would have been a truck. Or the aftermath of all the drugs I did. I do not hold you accountable for any of that. Still, I'm so sorry. And then you are right. You've always been right. I turned you into a witch. I couldn't bear you dying. And I dragged your soul into space. Well, I do hold you accountable for that. Not that I hate it. Beating a being a witch, it beats eternal slumber. However, I think you owe me. You must let me in. You wanted me back in your life so bad, you pulled me out of death's embrace. Now own it. This is too much, Patrice. I don't want to read the cards anymore. The responsibility is overwhelming. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not go that far. I'm still reading all these cards. It's just that you now have me to guide you, Fortuna. Dat, dat, dat. Ah, uh, listen. I see how your powers present quite an ethical conundrum. But we're not on Earth anymore. 
I haven't met a single witch that isn't fucking overpowered and exploiting her abilities to satisfy her ambitions. You're like a super witch, so what? Use your powers to do good or whatever. I don't know, Patrice. Moreover, I believe you should act on it like that spider guy that Eva liked. Spider guy? Eva? Who's Eva again? Oh, wait, Eva, our friend. I forgot about her. Having great power and not using it is irresponsible. Haha, -ha, it doesn't go like that. No? Well, you get me. But where do I draw the line? Case by case. I know you're a good person. I'm not afraid of letting you tamper with fate. Read the cards for me. Come on. Really? What about? Read into my end. What? No. Come on. We all have an exper expiry date. Even witches. Write me a beautiful death. Patrice. You know, being aware of how I was meant to die gave me superpowers back when I was a mortal. It is weird, but I miss that powerful dread. Please, Fortuna, grant me illumination once again. Well, I mean, that's a good question. If I predict, like, with what's going on here, or not here, last time. Dot, dot, dot. All right. I love you, Patrice. I love you, too. All right, let's write our sister her death again. Oh, wait, I completely forgot what I was talking about. Let's say that, like last time, I predicted someone's death, and it's like 20 years in the future. Does that mean that they cannot die within that 20-year span? Or would they still would they still be able to like do something... Or would the universe conspire to ensure that they live that 20 year span until their actual death, which I predicted or wrote? These, 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 are, good, these are good questions. Questions that will probably never be answered, but good questions nonetheless. That's all. Stop it. But let me tell you, this is the last time you make me read into your end. You get reincarnated or whatever. You deal with the pain of being alive, like the rest of us. Deal. Wait, how does this new deck of yours work? Um, for you, it's going to be the same. Mechanically speaking, it's just like the turrets. But I crafted this deck myself, capturing Arcana inside the cards. So I can fine-tune my style of divination, and don't need to be so dependent on the classic tarot symbols. Wow, cool. Okay, show me what you've got. Please stop that! Oh man, this <laughs> this one is going to be a mess, and I apologize. But anyway, the sinner's rebirth. Overflowing with hate and regret, the quicksand taints its visitors, setting what scares you on fire. The saber channels wrath. Judgment, test, robbery, tragedy, change, rebirth. Alright, how is this killing you? Oh, shit. You are going to die at the hands of a behemoth. <gasps> She's my most loved one. Oh, shit. You are going to die at the hands of a behemoth. Dot, dot, dot. Well, it sounds better than bone cancer. Can you feel when? This year. Oh. I'm so sorry, Patrice. I'd better start living witch life to the max, huh? How can you remain so calm in the face of certain death? What can I say? This isn't my first rodeo. I'm glad I asked you to read into my end. I had a lot of stupid plans that I can ditch now. I think I'll go and try my luck at using the forbidden door to pleasure. I've got nothing to lose. Ah, uh, this is so liberating. Patrice, 
Oh, I got some fire. Hey, um, before you go, about those people you were going to talk to about getting me in the running? You, you think you can help me out still with that? Ta ta ta. This is it, Abrimar. No one who'll kill me. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I definitely know, but I can't tell her that. Gee. I, I can't say that, can I? Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe. What do you say, Abramar? Are you going to kill me? That isn't something I would like to do. Ta ta ta. Hmm. Fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't change anything. Let's focus on making sure that at least one of us lives to see what's ahead, shall we? Again, I don't need saving. Please, just go and enjoy the time you've got left. Ah, no, no, no. You wouldn't refuse your sister's last request, would you? Come on, that's not fair. Suck it up. Here's my plan. I want you to run for leader. Don't worry, already got that figured out. Already gonna do that. Already going to succeed. What? No. Oh, whoa, 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 Fortuna. Yes. I'm deadly serious. When I learned that Adana died and the coven needed a new leader, I automatically thought of you. Oh, I thank you. At least someone does. Your divination makes you the perfect candidate. That's why it pissed me off extra to discover that you could receive visitors this late. We've already lost a lot of time that we could have put into preparing your campaign. I'm sorry about that, but anyway... Clairvoyancy isn't the only quality required to lead. We discovered I'm not a reader, but a writer. The responsibility. Delilah and Jasmine are already running. Ah, uh, yeah. They could use strong leadership. We discovered I'm not a reader, but a writer. The responsibility. Being a writer makes it even more crucial that you become our leader. What would even be the point of anyone else running, ruling, if you can just sweep away any reality? I could always decide to stop using my powers. Ha! Huh? As if. You're never going to surrender your powers. It's make you too miserable. I know you too well. Just look where you got to when concerned after when cornered after two centuries of isolation. One day, a critical situation will hit you, or the coven, and you're going to take matters into your own hands. If you do so from the position of leader, you'll handle the situation from the best possible perspective, with all the info that there is to have. And more than that, it's your duty to use your extraordinary powers in service of the coven. Ooh. You know, it, I'd be... I'd been thinking that I would make a better leader myself. But I didn't think I could pull it off from exile. That's fine. I'll help you. I'll do the heavy lifting. Haha, <laughs> are we really doing this? I'm excited. You bet. The universe better be ready for this pair of mean sisters. Haha, <laughs> let's do this. First order of business is to define a program. I'm going to do some scouting, and I'll come back with a picture of the current political landscape. Then we can decide where we stand on the hottest topics. Ah, uh, okay. This is all moving so fast. Don't worry. I'll make it easy for you. See you in a bit. Get your deck in order. Relax a bit. And we'll set everything in motion when I come back. Cool. See you later. Bye. See ya. Uh, you got anything to say, Abramar? Oh, he definitely does. You bet he does. <laughs> what a bossy sister. Tell me about it. The air seal didn't seem to make a dent on her. Oh yeah, the adortion thing. 
I am a bit disappointed in my magic. Heh, <laughs> I'd say Patricia adores me in her own way. She just has a tough way of expressing love. I'm beginning to think I sided with the wrong sister, he <laughs> he. Shut up. So, shit is getting real. Are you excited? I'm more anxious than anything. As a matter of fact, I am. Not really, but I don't have a choice. <laughs> After summoning a behemoth, this is child's play. <sighs> I mean... Eh? Politics? <laughs> ha 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 ha! This, pro this promises to be a fun ride, I see. Okay then, what do you need me to do? What do you mean? For example, do you want me to deliver a letter to summon Delilah and Jasmine to let them hear about your final stance? Uh... Probably, yeah, that's probably good. You know, best, best friends. It's the honorable thing to do. Good idea. A friendly reunion before the race. You never know how gruesome things will get. And the three of us didn't have the chance to meet just to hang out like old times. So... Do invite them, please. I will. I'm glad to let Patri I'm glad you let Patrice know about me. You don't have to worry. She's loyal. No, I am not worried. On the contrary, I'm eager to team up with her. Team up? Come on, you have a behemoth on your side, and you are planning on not using me during the campaign? Just let your sister know about my skills. I'm sure she'll put them to good use. I could spy on opponents, pick up some dirt, spin the cosmic wheel a bit in our favor, you know. Uh, okay. I guess that's a great resource. But don't you do anything without our approval? The absolutely. It may not look like it, but I am a team player. I don't believe that. Yeah, sure. I think I'm going to lie down for a bit. I need some rest before facing the mess I've gotten myself into. Talk to you later. Alright! You dream about... You dream you live inside a giant bear that you can control with your thoughts. When you are hungry, you ravage small towns and collect some of the meat and veggies you pour through the bear's throat. You don't feel any remorse at all, and the food tastes delicious. Alright! It's official. We're in the running. And I guess we'll be starting our campaign trail tomorrow. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time.